Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use our Sony camera. We only have one, so make sure to book it in time if you need it. You might want to use this one instead of one of our Canon cameras because it shoots in 4K and it can also do a really nice slow motion shot at 100 frames per second. So I'll show you how to use it. First thing we're going to look at is the battery. The camera does have a removable battery, however we have a charger for it, so you will need to plug it directly into the camera. And for that, you can open this bottom slot on the left to plug the cable. To insert an SD card, flip this switch on the right side of the camera to open this part and you can insert either one or two SD cards. In terms of lenses, we only have one so don't worry about changing it. If you want to use this shield, just release it and turn it around. You will be able to access the focus wheel. Looking at the top of the camera, you will find the on and off button. When choosing a camera mode, you will find options 1 and 2. These are resolution and frame rate presets which you will most likely use. C1 is 4K at 25 frames per second, and C2 is 1080p at 100 frames per second. You can switch between them by rotating this wheel and selecting the one you want, and then pressing OK on the screen. You will be able to see the setting you chose at the top of the screen. If you need to change these settings, you can change them in the menu and that won't affect the presets. So looking at your screen, at the bottom you will see shutter speed, aperture value and ISO. To change the aperture value, rotate this wheel at the top on the back of the camera. To change the shutter speed, rotate this wheel at the front of the camera on the right side. And to change the ISO, rotate this wheel next to the screen. If when you turn the camera on, you find that it is on autofocus mode, you can change it by pressing the FN button, press OK, and change it to manual focus. If for some reason you need to change the white balance, press the FN button and select the option white balance. Otherwise, it will always be on auto, which should be fine. If you need to attach one of these mics, open this part here on the left side of the camera to plug it. And don't confuse it with this one. This one's headphones, this one's microphone. And of course, lastly, press this red button to start and stop recording. To view your footage, press this view button. And that's pretty much everything you need to know to start using our Sony camera.